wanted to make my remarks this afternoon. I, I wanted to thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I wanted to thank all the other Deputy Speakers, Mr Speaker, and the whole House staff for the amazing way that they've allowed us to come back here um, uh, since the end of April uh, in this hybrid way and uh, work um, to hold the government to account through this very, very difficult period for uh, the country. And I also want to thank everyone in my local community in West Worcestershire and across Worcestershire who've worked um, tirelessly to support uh, the whole community, everyone who observed the guidelines in such a way that I now have real hope uh, that we have conquered this public health challenge. And I am really, really particularly grateful, Madam Deputy Speaker, to my own casework team who have had to deal with quite unprecedented volumes of work uh, in service to the community. And I do want to put that thanks on record to them now. Uh, I also want to give the House an update, Madam Deputy Speaker, in terms of uh, my role as Chair of the British Group on the IPU, uh, just to uh, let people know, colleagues know, uh, what we've been up to, and also to thank uh, the uh, Directorate, uh, the staff of the IPU, for having worked uh, relentlessly right through this crisis in terms of their work, maintaining those links between 179 parliaments and 46,000 parliamentarians. And I think we can all see that there is no time where it could be more important for us to maintain those links. All of us as backbenchers are part of the IPU and we have um, uh, taken the view as an executive that we want to continue with virtual links between parliaments. So we've had uh, virtual bilaterals with Sweden, with Norway, with Italy, with Colombia. I'd like to thank Mr Speaker uh, for agreeing to take part in the virtual speakers conference that will happen during uh, August. And I was also delighted to hear today that the President of the IPU has invited Professor Sarah Gilbert of Oxford University to be the keynote speaker and that she's agreed uh, to that invitation because I think it is a wonderful opportunity to showcase the fantastic work um, that they're doing at my alma mater. And I also want to uh, thank uh, everyone who's taken part in all these uh, virtual uh, events. Um, as you know, we have a particular focus on the non-Commonwealth countries, and we have found that the sessions have been so informative in terms of the links between uh, different parliaments, different countries taking different approaches um, to the outbreak, and obviously at different times. And uh, we've had some very, very good uh, information sharing and learning from each other. We've also been able to focus on many of the other priorities of the BGIPU here um, on media freedom. Uh, we had a John Smith uh, Trust session uh, with uh, graduates from Georgia, from Armenia, from Belarus, from Moldova from Ukraine. Uh, we've able to focus an event on uh, refugees as well. We've been able to uh, liaise with uh, ambassadors, UK ambassadors and high commissioners from uh, across uh, Africa, from some of the most conflict afflicted parts of Africa, um, Cameroon, uh, DRC and Somalia, as well as with the International Committee on the Red Cross. Uh, we've been able to have seminars jointly with the BBC, uh, one on um, uh, Chechnya, um, on LGBT uh, issues. Uh, we've been able to uh, hold a round table last week um, with the ambassador from the Republic of Korea and I think all colleagues are aware that uh, Korea has uh, uh, been able to apply experience from the outbreak in, uh, earlier in uh, the 2000s to uh, the current crisis and we learned an enormous amount from that. Um, all of these events are of course on the website. I should just update colleagues on the fact that uh, we have, um, uh, over the course of the next few months, to make a decision as a parliament as to who we want to uh, back to succeed to the presidency of the IPU, because the current uh, president, uh, Gabriela Guevos Baron, she comes to the end of her term in October, and there will be a meeting uh, in November to decide the next president. At the moment, there are only two people who've um, shown uh, their candidacy, uh, one from Portugal, one from Pakistan. Uh, we as a BG IPU are looking for a uh, few more candidates to show their hand. Uh, we want to see what the whole field looks like before we decide who we want to uh, back to take on uh, the presidency of this important role. But I encourage all colleagues um, to uh, get involved, to take part in this wide range of very, very interesting meetings. There has never been a more important time, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, for these 46,000 parliamentarians from 179 countries 
countries to come together, share their experiences and uh, the ways in which they have been holding their governments to account. So I thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker, for this opportunity to update colleagues. Yeah. Stephen Kinnock. Thank you, Madam.